This is iFiber One News. Here are today's top stories. Concerns over the possible failure of the Moses Lake School replacement levy were quickly erased Tuesday night as voters overwhelmingly showed their support. The Citizens Committee for Wenatchee Schools gathered at North Cascades National Bank in Wenatchee to watch the special election results come through on Tuesday. A regional mental health facility will be opening its doors in Wenatchee to patients this summer. Moses Lake Chiefs softball and Wenatchee Panthers softball were both undefeated coming into this much anticipated series. From the iFiber One newsroom, this is iFiber One News, and it starts now. Concerns over the possible failure of the Moses Lake School replacement levy were quickly erased Tuesday night as voters overwhelmingly showed their support. More than 7,000 ballots were counted Tuesday night in the special election, with nearly 60% of voters supporting the three-year replacement educational programs and operations levy. The district's current levy, with a tax collection rate of $4.62 per $1,000 of assessed property value, expires at the end of 2018. The collection rate for the new three-year levy starting in 2019 is limited to $1.50 per thousand of assessed value due to changes in state levy limits and how funds are provided to school districts. Superintendent Josh Meek thanked voters for their support of the levy, which represents about 13 to 15 percent of the district's operating budget. Through this levy, you have ensured that we will continue to have some of the fine programs and learning opportunities that serve our students. You've invested to provide our students with additional teachers and staff. We will continue to be able to find ways to create safe and respectful learning environments for all. Fifth graders will get to continue to learn the importance of water safety. Our students will have the opportunity to be involved in their school through extracurricular activities and athletics. And you've invested in improvements in our technology, transportation, and maintenance. This is Joe Utter for iFiber One News. This segment is brought to you by Maytag and the family pooch have a lot in common. Both are loyal, both aim to please, and both are tenacious dish cleaners. But only one can sanitize. Maytag. What's inside matters. Maytag Appliances. Now available at more furniture in Ephrata. The Citizens Committee for Wenatchee Schools gathered at North Cascades National Bank in Wenatchee to watch the special election results come through on Tuesday. Ultimately, not fixing it costs the district money, costs taxpayers money. So this, in the long run, will be a really good thing for the, for the community, for the school, and for our kids. I mean While just over 55% of constituents voted for the expansion and modernization of Wenatchee High School, that isn't enough for the bond to pass, and the reaction from the committee reflected their disappointment. I mean, I guess in my view, it's like we just continue to, to talk with the community about what it is that um, they would like to see change in the proposal. But on the same hand, our needs don't change. I mean, our, the building doesn't get any younger and no, nothing changes in that respect. Those needs are still there. And so, I mean, at some point in time, we're going to have to ask again. There's still over 1,600 ballots to count, however. And while Chelan County Auditor Skip Moore says never say never, it would take 82% of the remaining counted ballots to have voted yes. The work that we've done is not lost. The work that we've done can be moved forward and we can have better conversations about where we're going. I, I don't know how we can run anything cheaper than what we've done, but uh, that's going to be up for the community to tell us. The next ballot count is scheduled to be released on the Chelan County Auditor website Friday, April 27th at 3 p.m. I'm Madison Meyer with iFiber One News. This segment is brought to you by... Your taste buds bored? Well then bring them to Jay's Teriyaki. Not only does Jay's have a variety of teriyaki dishes, they also offer mouth-watering salads and sides. Call Jay's 509-764-5155. Jay's Teriyaki, located at 123 East Broadway in Moses Lake. Because it's all in the sauce. A regional mental health facility will be opening its doors in Wenatchee to patients this summer. Parkside, operated by the Behavioral Health Systems Facility, will be directed by Julie Ricard and staffed by about 50 other employees. 
The 42,000 square foot facility was once a nursing home donated to the city by the owners Carl and Betty Campbell. It will now serve as a diversion facility for people dealing with mental health issues. In the last few years, $4 million was awarded from the state in order to finish renovations. The facility, which is divided into two wings, will be a 16-bed crisis stabilization unit and a 16-bed residential treatment program unit. So it's kind of a niche that is not being served in our community. The goal is to prevent people from going on to higher levels of care and spending more money. So the dollars uh, aren't going to Eastern. So instead of shipping people out of our community, we're actually able to retain them within our community and service them with their families here uh, to address the needs or the problems that are kind of driving the, the issue. The facility will work closely with the local hospitals and law enforcement in creating pathways for those community members in need of help. After being in the works since about 2009, the facility is set to open between mid-June and the 1st of July. I'm Madison Meyer with iFiber One News. Moses Lake Chiefs softball and Wenatchee Panther softball were both undefeated coming into this much-anticipated series. The Chiefs were determined to stay perfect on their home field, and they were able to do just that after a 12-2 win that ended the game in five innings. Moses Lake got off to a fast start, scoring five runs in the first inning and never looking back. Chiefs pitcher Gina Skinner played lights out, holding a Panthers team that averaged 18 runs a game before this contest to just two runs. Skinner also scored the winning run of the game by stealing home on a wild pitch. Yes, I was expecting a wild pitch, but I was making sure to not go too far when I was leading off, just in case it didn't go past. She's a heady pitcher. I mean, she's not only is she a great pitcher, but she's got a pretty good mind, too. She's a 4.0 kid, so both my pitchers are, so they're super smart in addition to being super good pitchers, so it's kind of nice to have that. But, you know, they're going to come back ready to go on Friday, so we're going to have to be ready. The series will finish this Friday in Wenatchee at Walla Walla Point Park in a double header. First game will start at 4 p.m. and the second game will take place shortly after at approximately 6 p.m. I'm Adam Chikoski for iFiber One Sports. This is iFiber One News. For more information on these stories and other news, visit us online at iFiberOne.com or check us out on Facebook.